Sisters and brothers away, no siemi. Pastor Melo speaking. In the name of Tatanzambi Yamazulu, creator of heavens and earth, the one who anointed me to be your servant and to get you prepared to go back to Zion, Congo de Antotela, Luvuvamu, peace be with you. Today is Friday, November 20th, 2020, and we are making our 33rd video. The theme is A Divine Language, The Wonders of the Applied Form. Sisters and brothers, I would like to emphasize here that this series of Kikongo videos is not intended to teach you the language. This is only for information purposes and above all to concretize our assertion that Kikongo is a mysterious language whose sophistication bears the signature of the Most High. I would like to take up here the comment of the learned English linguist Bentley, author of the Dictionary and Grammar of the Congo Language, published at the end of the 19th century, who wrote, At every point and turn new surprises were met with as the richness, flexibility, exactness, subtlety of idea, and nice to expression of the language reveal themselves. We find that the Congo people speaking a language so exact and truthful that tricks, double intention, falsities, and illogical perversions which are so freely perpetrated in European languages would not be possible in Congo argument. Half the quibbles and mountains of reasoning which have vexed and separated sections of the Christian Church could trouble no Congo citizen with so exact and definite a speech at their command. Language being one of the criteria for measuring the state of civilization of a people, Kikongo is proof that the Bantu people had been at the head of the nations of the world at some point in their history. As I demonstrated in my book, The Bantu Roots of Latin, these people today so despised by civilized nations had a fundamental influence on Roman civilization in a particular and on the so-called Judeo-Christian civilization in general. The simplest form of the verb is in the infinitive mode. As analyzed previously, the simplest form of the Congo verb is constituted by two consonants and two vowels. But as most of the verbs are nasalized, the peculiarities of orthography import to us requires that we add a N or a M standing for nasals. Examples of non-nasalized verbs. Kota to get in, baka to catch, veta to throw out, kala to be, Nata to carry. Examples of nasalized verbs. Sumba to buy. Tonda to thank. Vunda to rest. Longa to teach. Fimpa to analyze. We have already met the 37 basic suffixes of the Congo verb. For more clarity, let's say that in what is considered as the infinitive mood, the last syllable of the verb always ends with the vowel A. Therefore, the suffix consists generally of three letters which, applied to the root of the verb, indicate the various conditions and forms of the action, whether perfect, imperfect or progressive. It also expresses the various modifications of the radical idea of the verb, such as the reversal, causative, reflexive, or repetition of the action. The applied form. The applied form imparts to the verb a prepositional idea, as baka to catch, bakila to catch for. Now you know why our previous video was devoted to the four groups of conjugations in Kikongo. In fact, the formation of the applied form depends on them, seeing that this very special verbal form is made by changing the final A of the simple verb into ILA for the first conjugation, INA for the second conjugation, ELA for the third conjugation, ENA for the fourth conjugation. Examples, BAKA to catch, Bakila to catch in, for, with, at, etc. Sumba to buy. Sumbila to buy with, in, for, etc. Nata to carry. 
not enough to carry with, in, for, by, etc. Kuna to so, kunina to so in, for, by, with, etc. Boka to call, cry out, bokela to call for, to, etc. Kela to filter, kelela to filter with, through, for, etc. Noka to rain, nokena to rain on, for, because of, etc. Nona to pick up, nonena to pick up for, with, in, etc. Kuna to so kunina. Boka to call cryao. Bokela. Kela to filter. Kelela. Noka to rain. Nokena. Nona to pick up. Nonena. The applied form of the verb imparts a prepositional idea connecting it with some further object, means or purpose beside its primary object. The applied form often contributes a special and wider meaning to the verb, so from quenda to go, is derived quendela to go for, hence to seek or search for, to go in, hence to be conveyed by. From dika to give food comes dikidila to give food to somebody for a purpose, hence the idea of poisoning. Quendelela and quijidila were the double applied form and appear to gather from it beside the ordinary idea of for, with, etc., a special idea of immediately, go immediately, come immediately. Intransitive verbs by this form are prepared to receive an object and thus become transitive, while transitive verbs in this form require a secondary or indirect object. The prepositional idea imparted to the verb prepares an intransitive to receive an object. It becomes therefore transitive, while a transitive verb receives another object. The object thus received becomes the real object of the verb, Thus, in the sentence, Somba mbiji, buy meat, mbiji, meat is the object of the verb, but using the applied form, Sumbila mfumu mbiji, buy the meat for the chief, the object of Sumbila is not mbiji, but mfumu the chief. So the intransitive verb Timuka, to fly, becomes transitive in the applied form Timukina, to fly with, and in the sentence, e nuni itimukina omave, the bird flies with wings, omave, wings, is the real object of the verb itimukina. The applied form has a passive voice, which is perfectly regular in its formation and meaning. In its formation, W is inserted before the final A, the double applied form. The double applied form is connected with two such further objects and the triple form with three. It implies to do a thing with something, for a purpose or for a person, for a purpose, etc. With, for, for, at, for, in, for, for, etc., etc., thus, Mulekwa yayi kansumbi dilakyo, he bought it for him with these things. The sentence when analyzed will show three objects and true prepositional idea. He is the subject, bought is the predicate, it is the first object, for is the first preposition governing the second object. The double applied form therefore implies to perform an action with something for a purpose or for at or in with etc the triple applied form there is also a triple applied form requiring four objects and three prepositional ideas it is formed by tripling the applied form suffix sumbi di dila 
to buy for a person with something for a purpose. Suffixes, first conjugation, i di di la, sum bi di di la, second conjugation, i ni ni na, na ti ni na, third conjugation, e le le la, bo ke le la, fourth conjugation, e ne ne na, no ne 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 na. The third suffix is only a further repetition of the simple suffix in verbs whose simple form ends in ula, una, ola, or ona. Simple form. First conjugation, bangula, bangului dila. Second, nanguna, nangunui nina. Third, bongolola, bongololuelela. Fourth, dongona, dongonue nena. Thus, dia nuka sumbi dila kyo omule koyayi. For that reason, he bought it for him with those things, the prepositional ideas being for him with those things for that reason. The mule kwayai with those things adds its own applied form to the verb, because in this case it was an emphasized adverbial clause.